Hello, welcome back to Homemade Collectibles channel. Today we're going to do a quick review of the Kid Galaxy Majungasaurus and Giganotosaurus from the Marks exclusive um, dinosaur action figure six pack. These two are really cool looking dinosaur figures. Um, quite um, overshadowed. Now the Majungasaurus fell down as soon as I said that. Um, but these are really cool dinosaur toys. Um, these were at Sam's Club. They're an ex uh, something called the Marks Member Exclusive. And I really did like um, these two in particular when I saw a whole stack of these. And they also had dragons and another dinosaur pack with six different dinosaurs. Um, this pack included the Majungasaurus, Giganotosaurus, a Triceratops looking dinosaur, a Diplodocus, a Velociraptor, and a uh, Parasaurolophus. These two are particularly the ones I liked. And um, I've never seen these molds before. They are brand new, created by um, whatever company made these, but these are actually really solid looking dinosaur figures. Um, the quality is just as good as, um, I dare to say, Mattel's Jurassic World toy line. So let's start with the Giganotosaurus. This guy has really awesome colors. Um, it really does remind me of the Jurassic World Dominion Giganotosaurus based on what we saw in the um, footage of the five minute clip. I um, love the white, the blue, light blue and the stripe here. I think they might have tried to copy what uh, information, little information was based off the Jurassic World Dominion design um, based off the animatronic. But this is a, even by itself, this is a really nice colored Giganotosaurus. And the sculpt is actually not that bad. You can see the head sculpt is instantly Giganotosaurus, the narrow, long snout. Um, the teeth aren't accurate, of course, but it's just such a cool design. Um, I really do like the the head sculpt. The size of these are actually really nice, too. They're not too big, not too small. Of course, they're not accurate compared to each other. Majungasaurus would be way down here somewhere. Uh, but for a kid's toy, this is actually really decent. There's, so you can see the details on the neck, the body, the arms, and the claws and the claws aren't painted here of course that sucks even on the bottom the toe claws aren't painted uh, that's one downsider but you can see there is detail on this figure um these are better than some of the animal planet um stuff you see at target even here it's got that spike just like the jurassic world dominion giganotosaurus you can see the tail right there but they did stop the yellow paint here which really sucks but and um there is one downside to this all these screw holes it has screw holes right here one two and three screw holes on this figure um, it actually doesn't bother me that much because there's only three and i think the color really works on hiding it and it doesn't really bother me it's not like a hasbro jurassic world toy um, so that's really cool. This figure is also articulated. The jaw can go all the way down like that. And you can see the tongue is painted. Um, the gums here aren't accurate. It should be sticking all the way up there. Um, but whatever, I really don't mind it. The arms can move, um, 360 around. The legs can go 360. Uh, same thing on the other side. And the tail here also does articulate. So really nice figure. The quality of this, this isn't like a cheap plastic. It's actually really uh, solid. And even there's some soft uh, rubber plastic as you can see, but it's really good. It's a really good quality dinosaur figure. And for $15 for six of these, it's actually a steel deal. I actually really if they make some more different species i'm definitely going to go back to sam's Club and get them this is probably the main reason why i bought this set is this majunga source i've never seen this before never seen this mold before this is a brand new created mold um this figure is fantastic um the downside i would say for this is that this guy can't stand because the leg is warped that's just a packaging problem like it can't stand because this leg is warped 
Of course, you can put it on hot water. Um, you can adjust the figure's legs to have them stand like that. And also, the color isn't the best. I think they could have done better with the colors, but it honestly isn't too bad. I really do like the design of this. They actually I feel like they did some homework. Um, look at that head sculpt. It's got that chicken um, stuff on the bottom, as a Majungasaurus does. It's got the really nice um, details on the center of the head. It's got one horn on the top. It really has its own unique head sculpt. Whoever designed these really did a good job. The eyes are a little bit weird. I mean, one outside is one eye is up, one eye is down. But it's actually not too bad. It doesn't bother me that much. Like I said, this is the quality of these is what impresses me the lot. Like this is a soft. Um, this is more of a softer kind of rubbery plastic, and this here is completely like that, but the quality is actually really good. Um, so you can see the details right there. The arms are smaller, which is really nice. Smaller than the T-Rex as it should be, that's accurate. The legs are also detailed. Love the brown that they added here. The toe claws aren't painted and neither the one in the arm, but I can forgive them because it's $15 for six of these, which is a steal deal. You can see the tail right there. There's the bottom, no, no paint in the bottom. And there's that stripe patteration on the top. Um, of course, it does have screw holes as well. It has three only, and it doesn't bother me either because it kind of hides itself pretty well. Here's a scale between them. Uh, the Giganosaurus is a bigger figure, but overall, this is not accurate at all. Um, Majungasaurus should be way smaller, but the articulation is also really nice. The jaw can go all the way down like that. You can see the tongue is painted as well. The gums are not even trying here, which that's one dying side, but I can forgive them for that. I mean, just it's really nice um, that they painted the tongue. Arms can go 360, really cool. These arms are softer plast uh, plastic. Legs can go 360 as well. Uh, this leg can't actually, but this one can. And the tail here is on a uh, swivel kind of joint as well. So, uh, does it actually should tell me the name of the company? It actually does. Um, oh, it just says made in Indonesia. Um, no company leg, like, like I don't know who made these. It's gotta be the people who own Sam's Club. They must have a separate division. I mean, they did a, a freaking good job on these. Overall, that's my review of these. Um, there is a link to purchase some of these Sam's Club toys above. Also check out my new homemade collectibles blog, small website I made, where you can see all my homemade uh, creations. So thanks for watching, have a good day.